Hello guys, so today I will show you that Box86 emulator could be fully integrated to your Raspbian operating system on Raspberry Pi 4. I will teach you how to uh, compile and integrate uh, Box86 on further videos because I think that now with Raspberry Pi 4 and Free Flags on the project it's very easy to uh, show how to install this emulator but as you can see we are uh, running the Linux x86 uh, installer uh, just running the, the script graphical uh, installer like on normal x86 Linux and it does install really fast this is not a very heavy title also this is a very weird title so uh, we will use just upstream mesa my mesa could uh, improve a lot the performance and uh, not a lot but maybe 20 30 percent i don't know i didn't uh, run it on uh, on my mesa uh, many of these games can run without my mesa just uh, with the upstream mesa my upstream mesa is just an updated mesa nothing weird So uh, I have to uh, relaunch the game uh, two times, if you can see uh, properly, because I have a problem with my recorder and the, it produces a delay on the sound. But the game runs just clicking on the on the desktop uh, entry. This test was at uh, 1080p. I think it's running great. Even we are on upstream mesa. Maybe my mesa could. Uh, uh, do a better job. I don't have the FPS counter here because I am not uh, utilizing the, the command line. I didn't know anything about this game. The tiering you uh, can see on this game and like mm, every every of the game plays I'm showing on my channel are produced by X11. X11 doesn't have double or triple buffering like we have on this spam X I don't know how to pronounce that environment or uh, any other environment that has uh, that kind of feature that produce a lot of less tearing uh, for example uh, on uh, Linux x86 we have a uh, tier 3 to improve the 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 horrible uh, tearing experience we experienced from a lot time ago from the from the beginning of Linux uh, tearing was always a problem because of uh, X11 technology uh, I think that um, Wayland um, uh, it's a it's a fix for that but not for now uh, I don't know how how it could perform on games, for example. But this emulator on a RetroPie, for example, a future RetroPie based on Mesa, could uh, work without any tearing at all. That will resolve uh, on next chain RetroPie. I don't like RetroPie. I, I am a desktop gamer, and have you seen on my channel, they are almost every one desktop games. Uh, and if I want to use an emulator from Dreamcast from N64, I want <laughs> a window that I can close and keep uh, utilizing my ARM SVC as a normal desktop. So uh, after uh, going out of the boat, I don't know how much to do. I don't know the game. So I will leave that in this test uh, here, but it's running perfectly even at 1080p, even on the upstream mesa which is not the latest one that's all guys merry christmas to you all we see you on on next video i will try to do more and more tutorials if Tom uh, from nova spirit edge uh, can supply uh, the tutorial soon but i think this simulator is the best i've seen on arm linux till today so that's all guys